in this moment we call you your holy spirit to come with us to help us to understand more about your word about your ways please god come with us and uh, help us to understand the spiritual life in jesus name amen Amen. Thank you. Danny, are you ready? Let's worship God together, guys. Uh, while Danny, Danny will sing for us, let's close our eyes, pray and talk to him because that's the time that we can quiet everything around us and we can connect with our God, right? Okay, guys. I'll do a test. I don't know if you can listen. Yeah, we do. Okay. I send the, the lyrics in the chat. I don't know if you can follow because this song is uh, so specific. I don't know if you know, but let's try. You are not hidden. There's never been a moment you are forgotten. You are not hopeless. Do you have been broken? Your innocence stolen. Are he your whisper underneath your breath? Are he your SOS, your SOS? I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night is true. I will rescue you. There is no distance that cannot be covered over the over. You are not deathless. I'll be your shelter. I'll be your armor. Are he your whisper underneath your breath? Are he your SOS, your SOS? I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night is true. I will rescue you. I will never stop marching to reach you in the middle of the hardest fight is true. I will rescue you. I, I, oh, I will rescue Are he your whisper? You have nothing left. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. Is true. I will rescue you. I will march into it in the middle of the hardest fight is true. I will rescue. Oh, I will rescue you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. 
uh, this song has the same melody than that song uh, named A Thousand Years or not? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, there is a song, uh, a romantic I song. I remember this song. But... Yeah, no, mm. the same melody. No? I think no. that no. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Danny. That was beautiful. Your voice is lovely. Uh, so now let's go to the gospel time. Gustavo, my lovely boyfriend, <laughs> prepared the gospel for us. So are you ready, baby? Yes, I am ready. Perfect. Okay, guys. So let's talk a little bit about prophecies. Do you guys know what a prophet is? You can comment if you want. Okay, so please, let's read First Peter chapter 1. I will put here in the chat box. Hold on just a sec. First Peter 1, 10 and 11. Who can please read it to me? Does anyone want to read? No. All right, I can read. It's okay. I can I can read. I can okay. read. Okay, please. There are much time that I come. I I didn't come here, so I want to participate. You know. Please, <laughs> please. Go ahead. Uh, where is the? Wait a minute. The shed. First Peter chapter. I'm one. going to read with my English Bible here. Okay, chapter one. Chapter one. Verses 10 and 11. All right. It was concerning the salvation that the proof prophets made careful search and investigation, and they pur pur proposed about this gift which God would give would give you. They tried to find out when the time would be and how it would become. This was the time to which Christ's spirit in them was pointing in preaching the sufferings that Christ would have the anger, anger and the glory that would follow. Amen. Thank you. So this verse speaks a little bit about the ministry of the prophet actually it speaks about how was the ministry of the prophet on the old testament so this verse says that the prophets they were trying to understand what was that the holy spirit was pointing to them and there were two things they were they they were trying to search the Bible says they were trying to search the time and the circumstances in this uh, translation. In the translation that Gladstone read says time and how. So the prophets, they received from the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament, in the Old Co Covenants. They received from God. The things that God wants to communicate with the people. So they need to understand what God was speaking to them 
through the Holy Spirit, especially about time and circumstances, especially about when things would happen and how things would happen. In this specific verse, we uh, see Peter speaking about Christ. So the prophets were trying to understand by the Holy Spirit when Christ would come and how would be the circumstances when he come and the glory that would uh, come after him. So these two things uh, are marked in the ministry of the prophet. They need to know, to understand what God was, was talking to them through the Holy Spirit in, in the concerning of time and circumstance. And then they were, um, they were able to talk to the people what was the will of God, okay? So in the Old Testament, that was the way that God uses to talk to people through the prophets, okay? So let's please read Second Samuel verse chapter 24, verses 11 and 12. It's already in the chat box. Please, who can read it? Julie says, I would like to read the verse. Your mic is muted. <laughs> okay, all right. I can't. I can't. First uh, Samuel 24, 11, 12. Before David got up the next morning, the word of the Lord had come to Gabe the prophet. David fears. Go and tell David. This is what the Lord says. I am giving you three options. Choose one of them for me to carry out against you. So what do we see here? Thank you, Julio Cesar. What do we see here? We had a prophet called Gad who was helping King David because the prophet received from God news about the future. So that was the way that God had to speak through someone to the people because the Holy Spirit wasn't inside the people at that time. So God needs to find somehow to talk to the people, to lead the people, to guide the people, to uh, give a direction for the people. So he used, in this case, the prophet called Gad to spread the news that he wanted, that God wanted to spread the news for King David. So that was the ministry of the prophet on the Old Covenant, on the Old Testament. They would bring the news from God through, the, the prophet would bring to the people, okay? Now, the ministry of the prophet in the New Testament, it had changed a little bit. So I want to read another verse with you so we can understand how the prophet's ministries works now in the New Testament. Who can please read it for me? I read. Thank you, Jessica. But the one who pro professes speaks to people for their strength encouraging and comfort thank you so if in the old testament the prophets were used by god to talk to people about what god wants to say and about the future in the new testament prophecies are used to speak things as strengthening to help people to build strength to encourage people and to comfort people. So in the New Testament, we do not use prophecy to figure the future. God does not reveal the future by the prophets anymore. He can uh, reveal the future by prophets, 
but he has a new gun, a new, not a new gun, a new uh, weapon now in the New Testament to talk to us. Does anyone has any clue with, with weapon is this? You, you, I don't know if I understand you. You said that now God has a, another weapon to talk to us. Uh, the Holy Spirit. Perfect. Thank you so much. Because in the new, in the last, in the Old Testament, he needs to talk through the prophet because nobody had the Holy Spirit inside. So he needs to use one anoint people to talk to the other people. Now, the Holy Spirit lives inside us, so we don't need prophets anymore. We can have prophets, but they don't work on the same way. Now they just bring strength, they bring comfort, and they bring encouraging, okay? So let's read two verses that help us to understand how the Holy Spirit talk to us right now in the new covenant please romans 8 14 uh, for those who are led by the spirit of god are the children of god okay so we can be led by the spirit of god strictly we don't need anyone else to to do the half way for us we are strictly connected to the holy spirit now and then i will read john chapter 16 verse 13 that says but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come so who is going to show us the future now not the prophet the holy spirit is the one who will reveal the future inside to our hearts strictly we don't need prophet to do that anymore okay so we have completely strictly access to god now Okay, so how it changes now, how it changes, because we read in the first uh, verse that we, we read, the, the verse from 1 Peter, saying that the prophets, they were trying to figure from the Holy Spirit, they were trying to understand uh, where the, the Holy Spirit was pointing to understand time and circumstances. Do you remember? To understand when things would happen and to understand how things would happen. Okay? So, the last text I want to hear, I want to read with you, is the text from Ecclesiastes 8.5. Who can please read it for me? Go ahead, my friends. It is try to search. I can. I can read it again. <laughs> Whoever obeys his command will can, will come to no harm. Heart. In the wise heart, harm. In the wise heart, will know the proper time and procedure. Thank you. So it's saying that the wise heart, who's is the owner of the wise heart, the ones connected to the whole spirit they will know the proper time and procedure so same thing that peter is saying the right time and circumstances so changing the words 
the ones with the wise heart will know when and will know how to do things. So what I want to bring to you tonight is that sometimes, guys, we know exactly what God wants to talk to us. We know exactly what God wants for us. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we know how he wants to do things through us and even when he wants to do things with us. Let me try to clarify for you. Let's say that you know, you understand from the Holy Spirit inside your heart deeply, you are pretty sure that God uh, tells you to give money for someone who needs money in the street, some poor people. There is two ways to do this. One way you take your money and give to them and said, hey, guy, God bless you. And another way you take your money and do this. Take this money, man. I have a lot of money. You poor people. So even when you do the right thing, you can do in the wrong way. So you need to understand how do things. Even if you even when you know from God what we have to do, you still need to figure how do it. Because you can do the right thing on the wrong way, and then you are going to do the wrong thing. You understand? Same thing is about time. You can understand from God something, but you don't necessarily know when to do this, the right time to do this. So let's say that you have understood by God strictly from the heart of the Holy Spirit through your heart. You are 100% sure that you are going to have a mission trip. You are going to fly to Africa to do missions. May I ask you, you should pack your bags and go in tomorrow? Or you need to prepare yourself, prepare your passport, learn to speak a good English, learn about the African people, learn a bit about mission and everything. So the right thing on the wrong time may be the wrong thing. If you take your understanding about what God tells you to do and try to do it without knowing when is the right time to do it, you may, you may lose time, you may broke your face. <laughs> Quebrar a cara, I try to translate broke your face. So you, you may not be very well successful trying to do this. So what I'm trying to communicate to you now is maybe you know from God already what you have to do. Maybe you have already figured which is your ministry, which is the country he wants you to go, which is the job he wants you to go, or even who is the person God wants you to marry with. But it doesn't necessarily mean you know the exactly time and how. So my suggestion of praying for you tonight is ask God to help you to understand the right time and the right procedure to do things. The same phrases we just read from Ecclesiastes from Solomon, King Solomon, that we may ask God to help us to understand the proper time and the, the right way and circumstances how to do things. Okay? Does that make any sense for you? Completely sense for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, you said... Um... Uh, break the face i think <laughs> i remember the the word is struggling 
you can struggling as much as you can when maybe the thing is right, but the time and the procedure is wrong for you. And then everything is not going well because you forgot to stop your um, actions and listen to the Holy Spirit. So I, I love to talk about this uh, subject of uh, the gospel, which you brought for us today, Gustavo, because um, we need to fight against the religiosity. Religiosity, did you understand me? <laughs> religiosity, we need to fight against it because <clears throat> sometimes we wait for a prophet to come and say for us what we should do, what time to do it, and which circumstances. But actually, we don't need the prophets. We don't need anyone to tell you because you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. So that's very powerful and necessary. It's essential. You don't need anything else. Uh, we just need to be... Um, we, we just need to trust in him trust uh, in the Holy Spirit and give space for it. And then God will talk to you in your deep um, emotions or through your thoughts or with a situation, he will show you uh, what's the, ta the time correct for you. So I, I was here thinking about many um, examples of my life which I stopped it and I asked God about the time, about the procedure, and I was very successful. Successful? Successful. I, successful <laughs> uh, in my um, examples. But sometimes when I was um, just independent and I did um, whatever I was up to without concern, consulting uh, the Holy Spirit, I broke my face, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my heart. I, I thought uh, I was a problem or someone was the problem, but actually the problem was that I didn't consult God for my decision. So, yeah, that's it for now. And it's not wrong to receive a prophecy. I mean, the prophets, yeah. the prophets can still give you directions, can still give you guidance. But the wrong thing is depending on him to know where to go and when to go and how to go and how to do it. Because God has a straight way to your heart now. So you, you can use uh, words from prophets to have a confirmation of something that God already gave you in your heart. So we shouldn't be guided by the prophets anymore, but instead by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. I like it when you said uh, we want to make the right Thing, but the wrong way it's it's so true because i want i want to to preach the word of god i want to you know i want to to make what god that uh, uh, sorry my english it is very <laughs> bad i want to make the right thing you know i want to help my my brothers, I want to, to take the Bible and um, preach, you know, spread, to, preach. To, to preach the Bible. So we just want, but, and then we have to prepare our, ourselves too. We have to pray, we have to study the Bible, we have to make a plan. You know, when, it, when we want a job, for example, we make a plan. When we want to 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 make one uh, course, 
uh, in the college, you know, we make a plan, we sit and we think how how I I can do the, do it better, you know. And we have to be very organized with the work of God. We have we have to sit and God help me to understand, help me to make a plan, take a, a paper, a pen, uh, write something. What can I do to improve my my way to to preach the you know, um, I think I think that we have to be more organized as we make our plans for job, for college, for con concourse, for example. We have to be organized with the word too. We can't just try to preach the word, you know, de qualquer jeito. I don't know, but to plan, to organize. You know, it's very, it's very true when you say, but we have to make the right thing using the right way. And because sometimes we, we try to force, you know, we push because we, we wanted to do it, but it's just on the, it's not that way that maybe it's not that way that God wants you to do, or it's not on the right time. My pastor, my, my, the, the pastor that, that takes care of the, the last church I used to attend. Uh, sometimes he gave me this example. Think about uh, orange fruit. If you go and take an orange from a tree, when it's still uh, not mature, you need to uh, uh, you need to try hard, and the orange does not does not come. You know, it's stuck on the tree uh, but then when it's the right time on the on the right season it does and it's in your hands you don't need to push it you know because god prepared perfect. everything perfect 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 example so the thing is we need to try to listen the holy spirit that our i i i suggest that we pray in this sense, meaning, God, I know what you want from me. Now help me to understand the best way to do it in the right, proper time to do it. Very good. And um, while we are waiting um, something or just wishing something, I, we need to get prepared for it. We need to get ready, uh, as Gladson said, right? So we need to um, prepare to get a good job. We need to prepare to get to to be a good husband, a good <clears throat> wife. So while God is still preparing us, just enjoy this process and learn, learn, seek for God and be filled with His joy, His knowledge, His blessed. And I'm sure we won't regret about it. Yeah, exactly. we we think that we think that we are preparing when when we go to church, for example. We think that we are preparing ourselves, but it's not true. We have to to make more. You know, we have to to take that right time. We have to get out the box. I don't know. How can I say it? You know, it's not just to go to church to make the thing that everybody does. You know? Everybody does. Uh -huh. We have to make the difference. Yeah. To take individual individual life, I don't know, and to pray and to understand the people that it is around uh, your, you know. Just <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I agree. It. Very good. We need to act and not just waiting. Uh, Julie, would you like to say something? <laughs> um, not really, but 
<laughs> Not really. <laughs> but if, if you want, You're I guess. Funny, guy. Um, You're funny, man. Um, when you say about uh, the bad things happen with us uh, in your experience, was uh, when you don't talk to God before and bad things happen. I it I is I identify with this situation is example because with me uh, the same uh, already happens and the, the bad the worst things that happen with me my entire life uh, was decisions that I make uh, without talk to God before every every decision uh i'm thank you for god because nothing bad very bad happened with me of my family but the worst things little thank god for that but always always uh it's because <clears throat> i'm not uh talk to god before not ask god protection direction and stuff so um when you share this situation uh, i identify a lot because that, that happened with me and pontual this pontual uh, the specific situations uh i'm um i am talk to god a lot i think not the well uh, this a little bit i talked about a little bit but uh, every everything I will do, um, ask God before. But when I didn't do that, shits happened. Something bad happened. <laughs> so in my experience, uh, uh, I don't know how to say that. Um, affinity for someone. When you get along with someone, I think uh, it's a get along, that. the phrase of verb, Cross but I don't know. Uh, mm. uh, intimidade, tipo, intimidade. When you are close. Intimacy. Close. Intimacy, intimidade, intimacy. All right. Yeah, close your, 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 teacher, your teacher is coming. You can ask her. All right. All right. I ask him. I ask her. So, uh, intimacy, uh, close, close, more closer, uh, more closer, sorry, closer uh, uh, with God, it's the it's wrong too, but yeah, you understand, okay? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, I agree with Stephanie about ask God everything you will do or what. Uh, when you will make some decisions. That's yes. It. And I say one thing more. Hi, Grazi. <laughs> but I will say another thing. Uh, when we have a decision to make, we need to put God in the center of this decision. We need to think, um, what should I choose in here? Why should I um, uh, get to... Uh, about my decision it's because my um i want to be proud of me it's because uh i will show up for the world it's because i will be uh um, honor for something that i did uh, and we have multiple uh, examples for it but we need to put god in the center of the, the decision and understand the time for the things get them right yeah uh, that's right uh, when I'm, I'm thinking about this I, I i agree with that because uh, i ask for myself how uh, my decision glorify god in some ways so uh, i'm thinking uh, it's true it's it's uh, great i think just mm -hmm. it very good very good 
I don't know if Grazi wants to say something. Grazi, how are you? Hi guys, so Hello. sorry. Hello. was at work. Today was busy, but I would like to share the moment with you and pray. But I couldn't arrive earlier. Um, but thanks for an invitation. And I will try to watch the record after, okay? Good, try to do it. It was very good for us. Nice. I, I, I'm happy to see you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> or always receive me with a lovely way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I don't know if someone uh, wants to say um, something else. Baby, would you like to say something? No? Something. You're like, I want to say something. I want to say something. I, I, <laughs> I would indicate Jessica to come at something, but unfortunately, she got out. She left. She left, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, she left. She, yeah, she left. She needs to talk <laughs> more. What? Sorry? She needs to talk more. Yes, she does, but she's super shy. <laughs> yes. She she sang for us uh, last meeting. Uh, I think yeah, she 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 sang, sang for us. Yeah, and I I love her voice. It's so beautiful. And you said to me, invite Jessica yes. to sing for you, guys. And yes, she, she has talent. <laughs> Okay then, my friends. So let's um, pray not just now, but um, through our next days. Jessica, uh, Jessica has a, an angel voice. Was really nice yeah. next to me. Yes, yes, angel voice. <laughs> and so let's pray now and in the uh, next days for. Uh, for this uh, subject, let's pray and ask God to reveal his purpose for us about how to do something and when to do something, right? Uh, I don't know, does anyone want to pray? Yes, no, we have a, a new re reactions here. Yes or no. <laughs> That's nice. Very good. So, uh, baby, would you like to pray for us and finish the meeting? Uh, does anyone want to um, ask for something to pray about? No? Okay, then. <laughs> in the reactions yeah now we have we can choose one uh, more than one like oh, oh. yes we can use okay. a emoticon and another one yeah that's cool all right let me pray then do you mind if i pray with the asian accent russian accent better Russian, Russian accent. It is better when I pray with the Russian accent. No, I'm just kidding, because you guys are will laugh and that's not good in the pray moment. Okay, Jesus, we thank you so much because the enlightening of the Holy Spirit that was with us tonight, we thank you for the opportunity to be together in family, in a faith family, Thank you so much because of each one of the brothers and sisters that were able to come at least for a few minutes with us. I ask you to please bless each one of them in the activities that they had to do in this weekend and so on. And I ask you guys, I ask you God for all of us that you please help us to understand God, not just what you want us to do, but the right 
way, the proper way and the proper time to do things. We want to know strictly from the Holy Spirit the right moment and the right uh, situations uh, and the right circumstances to do your will, God, because we want to be in the narrow of your will, in the nail, in the strict center of your will. So I ask your blessing upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Welcome. Guys, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. We are a family here. Uh, count on us and please take care of you. And I hope we will be together in person one day. I hope mm -hmm. so. I will. I'm looking forward to this moment. God will prepare for us the right time, the right uh, procedure for us to be together one day. Amen. I believe. Thank you. Thank you guys for the invitation. So I have an idea. I have an idea. Why? Yes, tell us. <laughs> On Christmas, we would we could make a Personal. secret friend. Yes, secret ah, okay. friend. It's By just... mail or, or presentially? No, for here, here. Ah, okay. Yes, and uh, like we send it, we send the gift using the Mercado Livre. Okay. Fresh food. Ah, yeah. great. Secret friend? Did you say secret friend? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. yes, yes, yes. That's nice. Good idea. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Vou falar português agora. Chega em inglês. Eu preciso contar uma piada em inglês não vai ficar bom. É uma piada. Acabou. Eu preciso enviar um presente para a galera aí. Então, esse negócio de dar uma palavra, né? A Stephanie falou assim: Does anyone want to say something? É tipo, alguém quer dar uma palavra, né? Aí, uma vez, estava passando um pingueirinho na igreja e aí ele foi lá, pegou o microfone. Você quer dar uma palavra, irmão? É, é quero dar uma palavra. Ele pegou o microfone e falou, garapa. <risos> agora é sério, agora é sério. essa piada, gente. Agora é sério, agora é sério. Agora é sério. Piada, Ó, deixa eu falar uma coisa séria. Não sei se vocês sabem, mas eu sou mentor financeiro. Trabalho com, com mentoria de finanças. E a gente está fazendo um grupo... É, eu fechei com o pessoal da, do, do meu DNA, do meu, da minha célula, a gente está fazendo um grupo é, só com o pessoal da igreja e tal, e eu estou gravando as aulas numa plataforma, tá? um curso topado de bom. Normalmente eu cobro 600 reais, 700 disso aí, eu estou cobrando 250, e a Grazi tá e a Stephanie também. E aí eu ia só é, expandir o convite para vocês, se vocês quiserem, dá até para eu deixar o Dá para deixar algumas coisas abertas só para vocês verem como é. E aí, se vocês quiserem, vocês participam. São, vai ser dois meses de acompanhamento. Semanalmente eu jogo as aulas lá na plataforma do Hotmart. E, e aí a gente tem uma reunião toda semana, quarta-feira, de uma hora, para discutir os assuntos da, do que a gente conversou nessa semana. Tal. Vai desde entender a situação financeira atual, fazer o planejamento do futuro... Aprende a investir, fala de produto financeiro, fala de conceitos, hábitos, um monte de coisa nesse sentido aí. Tá bom? Dúvidas aí é. vocês falam comigo depois. Sim, educação financeira Adorei, em geral, né? Legal. Vai ser muito legal, gente. Se der para participar, participem com a gente, que aí junto a gente vai construir esse conhecimento aí, de aprender a gerir nossas finanças, né? Eu sempre falo isso num grupo da igreja, nós como pessoas inteligentes, né, smart people, <risos> nós temos que aprender a gerir várias coisas, né, as nossas emoções, o nosso tempo, os conteúdos que a gente se alimenta, inclusive finanças, né, então a gente está juntos aqui no Brief a cada 15 dias, se tornando pessoas melhores, né, e também a mentoria do Gustavo também tem essa proposta, tem muito pro, é, propósito nisso, né, então, quando sempre que possível, né, quando estiver juntos, a gente vai com certeza crescer muito, né? Isso é muito bom, como família mesmo. But that's it. <laughs> so we finish here. Uh, please take care of you. And we will be together in 15 days. 
Eu tô achando Alright. interessante a, Gra a Grazi dirigindo, cara, enquanto tá aqui na... Yeah. <laughs> Just because I would like to listen to you guys. So sometimes I'm getting out from my job. Ah, uh, very good to see you. I, I'm <laughs> I'm just a good driver, guys. Yeah, yes, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm a teacher once. I, I, I don't I'm, know. I'm cheese. Cheese. Look at her driving. Ooh. <laughs> okay, then. See you guys. Alright. Bye bye. Tchau. Bye bye. See you guys. Tchau.